had one of those sleepless nights, like, like you get before going on vacation or catching a flight or something where you keep waking up like, okay, is it happening yet? What if something goes terribly wrong? So I kept like running through the, the signs of heat I saw. Wondering if I would still be seeing signs of heat this morning. If the AI is too early today. Oh, it's raining. Wondering if I should get my AI guy back twice today. Do it once in the morning, once in the evening. So, anyways, we he did text me back last night around 10.30. He said he'd be here in the morning. So it's pretty exciting. I would rather stand outside in the rain than be beside him. better. I'm still not milking every day because we haven't needed to milk. Our storage situation is a little tighter now, so if we're not going to go through the milk, I don't want to have it in the fridge. Luna's been keeping up great still. So if I'm milking about every other day, my hands are a little slow to come back into shape, but they're feeling a lot better. She's being really good for the milking. Sometimes when cows go into heat, they're a bit more irritable while they're being milked, but she's doing really good. She's a good cow. I'm still seeing signs of heat. Notice her. She's lifting her tail a lot. waiting for our AI tech to show up this morning. I'll let her go out in the field, eat a little bit, and then when he's here, I'll call her back in and we'll get it started. Yeah. Yeah. Time to go in and have coffee. Oh. <laughs> Mommy? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go sit on the couch. Okay. Okay, say bye. Bye, Daddy. Give him some food? Yes. All right, hungry goats need food. What's happening? Hey, I got it here. We're going to give her a shot to, make sh to see if there is something there that it ripens fast enough. Shot ready.
Yeah, we got a sideboard. Okay. Cute. It has been, it has been done. <laughs> Ladybug has been bred. We, has, we have attempted. No, we have attempted okay. to breed her. We. There's no guarantee it took. Hopefully it does. Literally no guarantee. We had to sign a. No, baby, that's not what that was. It's about storing it in his tank. Yeah, I know. So it's not. Never mind. I was wrong about a thing. Completely. I'll edit it out. Yeah, exactly. The semen comes in a super chilled jar. Did you notice him thawed at all? Oh, yes, he used a hot water bath. Oh, okay. I was wondering. He brought the semen in a big container that was super chilled with nitrogen, liquid nitrogen. Super cold. The semen came out of it. He warmed it in a hot water bath. And then he put it in a literal, like, giant straw. Yeah. And he had his super gloves on. He checked Ladybug. We should talk about the checking. Yeah. The checking went a little bit funny at first because of the stanchion. Her moving so much. We, did, we hadn't put the sidebar in yet, so we needed to put that sidebar in. She did move a little bit at first. He was yeah, like, whoa. So Once his arm was inside her, she stood still and just kind of... That impressed me. She was me. standing for him. That arm disappeared. I was like, <laughs> wow. Yeah, there's nothing left there. Uh, the stanchion did a pretty good job. Once we put the sidebar on, it did hold her. However, in a future video, I'm gonna talk about how I would make the stanchion narrower for our particular cow. So, something to note if you're thinking of building it. After he checked her. Um, after he checked her, he said if she was showing signs to us that she was ready to be bred, I kinda did a little test in the field where I stood behind her to see how she would stand if she was in standing heat, and she seemed to, from what I could tell. He said breeding her to this morning was a good idea. He didn't think it was necessary to come back later. And hopefully we'll see in 21 days if she's showing any signs of coming back into heat. If not, we'll draw some blood, get a pregnancy test on her. Shot a hormone shot, G N R H or. <gasps> you use hormones in your livestock? I don't want that milk. <laughs> I can help it. Because we're not a bull, right? We cannot detect perfectly when she is in heat. We can try our best, but we may have gone a little too early. What that hormone does is it helps those eggs to write those follicles. I'm probably saying this wrong. It is the same hormone that the cow produces herself in the same amount that she would produce, be producing it. So the milk is still totally safe to drink. There's no period of time that you can't drink the milk at all. What it helps to do is to kind of move her cycle forward a little bit more so that the semen is still viable in her rep reproductive tract at the time where she's where the egg is ready to be fertilized. Essentially, we're using the things that she already has in her body to up our chances that the things we put into her body, aka sperm, will actually do the job, aka pregnate. Pregnant. That's the word, right? I don't think pregnate. it is. <laughs> Impregnate. Boom. Consider yourself Stop it. You keep doing this thing. Boom. Yo. It's super annoying. You've been pregnated. It's, it's like a hidden game camera show. Like, It'll be a really boom. bad hidden game camera show. You've been pregnated. <laughs> That's bad. 
<laughs> Not just for the grammar aspect of it either. I'm sorry, I was making jokes like usual. Uh, the text, if you're in Western Pennsylvania and you're looking for a cattle uh, AI tech. Yeah, he, he deals with a lot of the dairies in this area breeding cows. So hundreds of cows have been serviced by him. <laughs> George was his name and inseminating was his game. And he did a great job at it. <laughs> George, you can keep that tagline if you want. <laughs> <laughs> we can put you in contact with him. So email us if you're interested and we'll be happy to forward you his information. Did Ladybug's breeding take? We won't know for about another month. And sadly, neither will you. But you can find out what happened back when we bred our first goats on our old homestead. Hopefully things don't work out like they did in this video. Click on this video to watch. And don't forget to tune in tomorrow where we'll answer all your homesteading questions in our weekly Ask Homesteady video. Tune in at five o'clock Eastern time 